everybody. This is Steve Grizzetti, co-founder of MoviePicks.com and author of the MoviePicks.com Guide to Adobe Premiere Elements. And here we are in part one of an eight-part series we're calling Basic Training with Premiere Elements. We want to look at some of the major features in the program, take you through the process of adding media, creating a project, adding some effects and titles to it, and then finally outputting the project. Here in part one, we want to take a look at one of the alternative workspaces to the program, and that is Quick View. In fact, if you start up the program here from the welcome screen by clicking on Video Editor, you will open in Quick View. Now, uh, the very first time you use the program, you'll get this optional screen also. I always get rid of this. Just check the option to never see this again. This is the most useless screen in the entire program. So skip ahead to that, and then we'll go to Quick View. Now, Quick View is a greatly simplified workspace for editing your video. Don't be intimidated by the words expert view, which is the alternative workspace where we're going to spend most of our basic training. You don't have to be an expert to use expert view. It's just a more professional style uh, workspace and a more professional style timeline. Here in Quick View, we have a very simplified timeline. In fact, it only has one track of video. You can add some music to it and you can add titles, but they're linked to the video. So it's very simplified. You have a lot of limitations on what you can do. But if you want to just put together a project very simply, Quick View may be the area you prefer to work in. So to add media, we just go up here to add media in the upper left-hand corner. Start our new project. I'm just going to file some folders. I'm just going to select a couple of clips. I can select them one at a time and open them, or I can hold down the shift key and grab a series, which is what I'm going to do here. Or you could, of course, hold down the control key or the command key on a Mac and select one at a time. So we'll grab this series and bring it in. One thing you may notice is that immediately here in Quick View, when you add media to your project, it's immediately added to the timeline. And the timeline sets up automatically based on the content of your media, or based on the specs of your video. Here in Quick View, we have little placeholders where we can add transitions between the clips and we can do that from the transitions menu notice that in quick view we don't have a lot of transition options once you get out expert view you'll have i think 80 of them you'll have a large number of transition options we can trim our clips if they're too long you notice that indicated on each one of the clips is the running time for that clip if you click on the little scissors icon in the lower right hand corner that opens up the smart trim area and here in Smart Trim, we can take that longer clip and we can cut off the parts we don't want. And when we're done, we just go back to continue editing by clicking on this button in the lower right hand corner. And you see that our 37 second clip is now only six seconds long. So we can trim these as needed. You can add a title, of course, but you don't add a title to a separate video track as you would in a more professional video editor. Instead, your title is linked directly to a video clip. So if I click on this picture of the house, you notice I get an option above it here to add a title. And I can click on that and then add a title text. And we'll discuss more about how to control the properties of your title later on. But your title is fixed to that video clip. In other words, it can't be longer than the video clip. You can click on the little stopwatch here on the left and set its duration. It can exceed the duration of the video clip and it can start later in the video clip or earlier, it's up to you. But it is limited by the length of that video clip and linked directly to it. There are effects over here on the right-hand side on the toolbar, a limited number. There are, as we said, transitions. And there are titles, a limited selection, a limited library. You'll get many more when you're out in expert view. Now, most of what we're going to be doing in this course, we're going to be in expert view. But you'll notice that because simplified view is so simplified or quick view is so simplified, when we go to expert view, we actually get a little warning that says, by the way, if you go out to expert view, you may not be able to come back again because there are many more options in expert view. And when you come back to quick view, you may not have access to those same options. So quick view, not at all a pejorative name, but certainly a great workspace if you want to just quickly throw together a video. But for those of us who take video editing somewhat seriously and like to have fun with it, we spend most of our time here in expert view and that's where we're going to spend most of our basic training here. I hope you'll join me for part two of this eight part series where we're gonna take a look at how to add media and create a project here in expert view in part two of basic training for Adobe Premiere Elements. Hope you'll join me.